If I start coming up to y'all in the grocery store and I say, excuse me, sir, you are just so sexy. I want a response. Say witnesses saw her using an adult toy on the beach. She only doubled back because the other dude didn't act right. Has to be voluntarily celibate. You get the one that's damn near dead. He when he dropped dead because he got high cholesterol. This is what a lot of guys need to do. I broke up with my toxic ex and went overseas. Hey guys, welcome back to Mortal Life. Before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Also, smash that notification bell just to be sure you get all my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into this. So it's been brought to my attention that men no longer want to come up to women anymore. Due to allegations, women being just so rude and disrespectful and rejection. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know men didn't want to come up to women anymore. I'm barely finding this out. Why do women choose to cuss guys out when they come up to them and approach them? I have no idea. I apologize for that. But there's just... Now I want you guys to look at the aesthetic. You see this woman, right? But watch this. Too many fine men. And if it takes me, the women, be having to come up to you guys and shooting my shot, saying what's up, being the big stepper then i'll just have to do that and i'm gonna just start coming up to you guys and shooting out compliments and see where it takes me so if i start coming up to y'all in the grocery store and i say excuse me sir you are just so sexy i want a response okay i don't want any of that shy stuff <laughs> you know i think guys will respond unless they got other women because y'all all chasing the same guy right but yeah a guy will say what's up unless he's not interested He'll tell you he's not interested, but he'll say what's up. But you know what? You know how it is nowadays. That's what it's going to take. Showing interest. Or at least saying hi, right? How you doing? Give a guy a little flirtatious hi, right? So he knows, okay, I can go talk to her. I think women should do that, right? If women want a guy to say something to them, say hi. That's it. How you doing? And then if you don't respond, respond or say something or talk to you or get the point, then it's on him. It's his loss, right? But this is good news. This is good. And I'm going to tell you why guys don't feel <laughs> the urge to talk to women. I don't know what man needs to answer this question, but how come when y'all see a woman and you see that she's not in the mood to speak to anybody, that's the best time y'all think to pursue her? If I don't look like I want to be spoken to, why are you telling me to put a smile on my face? Want me to be walking around like this? You see that? Struggle, struggle. That's nothing but struggle. Hard life. Angriness, anger. But you seen the difference with the other woman, right? Was she a little happier? Positive? And not only that, what did you see the difference in? The looks. The other woman was prettier. Also, because you got some pretty ones that you can't tolerate, right? But also, wasn't only that. Because the other woman was prettier, she was a little more in, like she had she was into it naturally. Like she is confident. She exudes confidence naturally. That's why she feels it doesn't matter if she talks to a guy. She's going to get the guy she wants, and it doesn't matter. She could be for the streets, too. Both of them would be for the streets. But still, guys, and this is exactly how it is when you leave. Think about that. Imagine you leaving, and most of the women are better than the first woman, better looking for the most part, right? So you're like, oh, wow, i leave leaving or getting all of this. But this is why guys make the decisions they make. This is why the soft guy era is here. This is why passport bros are here. This is why the red pill is here. All because of you not acting right. These things didn't just start on their own. Y'all created it. Congratulations, y'all. Y'all created all of these movements. You did good. That <laughs> you did bad. <laughs> Beach. Please, don't do this to me. Are you serious? 
That's the question swirling after this woman, a realtor, was found dead. Police body cam video starts with cops approaching 35-year-old Christina Revels Glick. Some cops say witnesses saw her using an adult toy on the beach. I'm sorry, I was stressed out. <laughs> you can't make this this is ridiculous. What is? What am I being arrested for? She says she thought she was by herself. A family saw it. They had kids. The incident was reported on the Gun website under the headline, Woman Busted Pleasure Session on Beach. She was said to have gone on a downward spiral following the report life. He spoke to Les Trent about the beach incident. You do not believe this was handled correctly and the police should not have been called? No. Because look, look, look what it led to, somebody taking their life. A sad end after a single indiscretion. Wow, yeah, they shouldn't have, I don't think she should have been spoken to, right? She thought she was private, but still, you don't do that on the beach. It's public, come on now. If somebody can hear you, you know people on that beach, right? But this is the sad part, she, she ended her own life, right? And RP to her and her family, um, but still, that's the situation. You don't wrap it up, right? You know how many times I've been down and out and had a thought in my mind? Maybe I should, then nah, it ain't that hard, right? A situation like that, you never know what people are going through, but a situation like that, she's never been through anything in her life. I gotta say, I gotta tell the truth, right? She's never been through anything tragic because she would have been gone all right but she probably was going through a lot who knows i wouldn't have went up to her and approached her and it's a sad situation right all in all sad situation rp to her i hope her family is able to recover and um shout out to her family i'm sure they're going through it right now and it's a sad situation man at the end of the day it is i can i can't point blaming her it's just sad all around y'all why did i just have to walk out on a date Okay, I'm home. Story time. Um, so I meet this dude on Bumble today, like today, as in like May 3rd, a couple hours ago. And he was like, oh, let's meet up. And I'm thinking he wants to meet at a place, you know, hang out. Not like a, a date, maybe, because you said meet up. He's like, oh, no, we can just meet like at, you know, the grocery store or something. And we can just type, like talk for a little bit because I'm about to leave work, but I'm not really off the clock. I'm like, okay. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, so we, I tell him a place to meet. And I tell him to meet at Publix. Because the Publix by my house um, has benches outside. And like where people can sit, eat food or whatever. So I'm like, that's a neutral place. It's public. I don't know this man. So, um, yeah. So I tell him where to meet. He calls me. And he's like, oh, I'm here. I don't see no benches. Well, hello. How you doing? Hey, I've reached the destination. Where are you? So I, Because I don't see the benches. No, he went straight. Yeah, I don't see no benches. I was like, oh, yeah, if you just come in, you know, as if you're going into the store, you'll be able to see them. He's like, I don't see him. I was like, well, if you there's two entrances. So if you go on the other side, I don't see no benches. I was like, yeah, if you just act like you're going to the store, I don't see them. So he finally makes his way out of the car and he's like, so we hug or whatever. And he's like, yeah, if you would have just told me this, this and this, I would have been able to find it. I was like, well, I told you to just walk as if you're going to the entrance, you'll be able to find it. Well, you should have just told me this. I was like, well, it doesn't matter because we're here now. So let's let's go sit. This pimple got to go. Um, okay, so we're, we're sitting down. I can already feel a little animosity, but I'm just like, let's just chill. Let's just talk. And we actually, we started talking, you know, talking about life, you know, chopping it up, talking about what we do for work. And he actually works for the same company as me, but totally different departments. And he works in sales. And he was like, yes, yeah, sales is just like, really, you know, it's a lot of work. Like, there's a lot of men in my field. So... Um, there's really no females. Females don't have enough patience to do it. So, yeah, I don't really meet a lot of females in my, in my job. What? He's like, yeah, um, sales is just a different beast. Like, not a lot of women can do it. Y'all ain't got enough patience. As if I didn't do sales for eight years. Um, but go off, sir. He's like, yeah, y'all don't got enough patience. And I was like, um, well, I work in HR and it's interesting that um, it's a lot of women and we have enough patience to deal with people. So I asked him, hey, you've been down here four years. Have you made any new friends, you know, down here? He goes, well, you can't call everybody your friend. Is that what I asked you? No, I was like, 
yeah, but have you made any new friends? He's like, well, you can't call everybody your friends. Like, I got acquaintances and people I talk to. Have you made any friends? If you don't got friends, just say that. And he's like, he's just stuck on this, you know, can't call everybody your friend. Basically, he's like, yeah, I met a few friends. I got a few friends. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like, I was like, yeah, you know, you just got to meet the right people and you'll be able to find friends. He was like, that, that phrase doesn't even make sense. Meet the right people. What do you mean? I was like, yeah, you just got, he's like, what is the right people? I was like, well, someone that's interested in the same things you're interested with has the same goals values whatever i think that's right people he's like yeah that that doesn't even make sense i was like well i've been able to find great friends um he's like well you just can't call everybody your friends like he was like well if you all the people you say are your friends if you you need money or something and you ask them that's when you're gonna realize they're not your friends i'm like well he's making a lot of sense she has to understand this is a man she's talking to sounds like a full grown man with a lot of logical reasoning. He's thinking how I think <laughs> it. I mean, he's right. Well, let me let her finish. Only thing he messed up was with the sales of woman, woman that sometimes are the best for sales, right? They usually, uh, base have, a, have whole sales departments based on women to, ha because they do have the patience. That's, it's actually the opposite. Women usually have more patience sometimes. Guys, you know what I mean? Guys have more patience with sales, but women have that, that it factor, that understanding your needs and all that stuff. Women, women are good in sales. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm, I don't know why I'm over talking. Now I'm babbling. Let me get right back into the video. Um, I would ask my family because I have a great family. But even if I did ask my friends, I'm, I'm sure they would get me. Um, they, would, they would cover me if I needed it. And he was like, oh, yeah, you're you're young, so you don't really know. Like, when, when you're older, you'll have enough wisdom. I'm a little older, so I got more wisdom. He's 37. I'll be 31 this year. He's six years older than me. He's the same age as my sister. Same age, What wisdom much. do you have, sir? Same Clearly, age. Clearly, you yeah. don't have too much wisdom. You're still single. Yeah, pretty much the same age. Hello? Like, he's like, yeah, I got, enough, I got more wisdom than you, so you don't really, really know about friendships and stuff. Okay, sir. So, we're just... I'm like, is... What happened? Like, did you not make enough money in sales today? Um, did somebody piss in your Cheerios? You got on the wrong side of bed? Um, did you have a socks on and you stepped in a wet puddle? What happened to you today? So just, it was just a lot of like animosity or just a lot of anger built from him. Like, I don't- Yeah, she should have left. Coming from him. Like, I don't know what was, <laughs> what was going on. So I got up and left yeah. um, because I wasn't dealing with that. I went right into Publix, had to make me a sub because I was hungry, but- I just needed to tell you that. Sorry this was hella long, but I don't know. He was just aggressive, like, not physically, just, like, in the conversation, just, like, aggressive. And if that's his personality, no, I can't deal with that. I'm just a girl. Like, I can't, no. And you know what, y'all? This is my fault because I should have unmatched him when he said this. We were talking about what we did because we worked for the same company. He was like, oh, yeah, I'm in this department. I was like, yeah, I'm in this department. He was like, big money. I should have unmatched right there because when a man tells you big money... No, time to go. And I don't yeah. even know why I said, let me clear this up. It wasn't a date. It was just a meetup. So yeah, not a date. Well, I'm on her side somewhat. I got to be real, right? Why do you bring that energy like that? Hardcore. Women want that friendly, I'm here to have fun energy, right? They, I don't know. They do, but not too much fun. They don't want their friend around. You know what I mean? He came like he's ready to fight her. <laughs> and that's how she felt. Good on her, though, for meeting him like that. First time they meeting, she made it at a public store. You know, I don't want to talk about how she looks. She probably doesn't have that many options, but she's acting like that, right? She didn't act like she was too good or anything like that, like some girls do. Sometimes you find girls that are like her, they act like they're the best thing in the world ever, and they drive you crazy. I've came across, I've had hard times and try to date girls like her, and yeah, got treated like I was a player. Like they're looking at me going, that's why sometimes you can't date girls like that, right? They don't have the confidence. But she was cool. That guy was a jerk. I'm on her side on that part. She comes across like a woman that I give a guy the time of day. And he didn't deserve the time. Don't you agree, Mr. Feather? Word. Y'all see this? The point of view, the girl that ghosted you is now your girlfriend. She only doubled back because the other dude didn't act right. That is the only reason why she doubled back. 
and or the one that she was interested in said, you know what, I don't want to be with you anymore. A woman that likes you is going to act right from the get go. All the game playing, all the immaturity should never really truly be a thing. But the problem is so many of you are so desperate to be in a relationship. You put this woman on a pedestal because she probably looked good to you. And so you think, well, it's OK. I love her. I'm going to show her that she should have picked me the first time. You're someone's second option. You were picked last in kickball. That's the feeling you should get when this happens, especially when you know she was talking to someone else and or she had options. Congratulations. You played yourself. The next time one of you get put in the situation of a girl ghosting you and then decides come back, just remember at that moment you was picked last in kickball and tell me if you should be as excited to be in that relationship. Yeah, he's right. And a lot of guys need to understand that, right? It's kind of like you're dealing with a woman and then she sees you later. Of course, she didn't want you back then. You know what it sounds like? What's that song? Back then you didn't want me. Now I'm hot, they all know me. Back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot, they all know me. Back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot, they all know me. me. But not even just that, right? That's because you're not hot. She monkey branched immediately and jumped right back to you. That's even worse. Because it wasn't a back then you didn't want me. Now I'm hot, you all know me. That was a, you just didn't want me. Now you want me. Because the guy didn't want you. You didn't want me, now you want me because he didn't want you. You didn't want me, now you want me because he didn't want you. That, that's all, that's good. I'm gonna put that out. The most persecuted demographic of people has to be involuntarily celibate men. Grown, single, undesirable men are by far treated the worst out of any group of, any group you can think of in society. These people are by far treated the worst. Even the most like hideous woman could find a guy, whereas the bottom 20%. Yeah, like we just seen. The woman in the last clip, right? The, the clip before that. The big woman still on dates with guys. Who, I don't know how the guy look. He could be handsome. He's a regular dude, though, but he's right. Of men. And you know, with the invention of like dating apps and like, like polygamy just running rampant nowadays. It's more like the bottom 25 to 30 percent of men we just won't find anyone and you know online people like to call these people hateful and they like to villainize them but imagine you've gone through years of your life with no human intimacy maybe you've gone through your whole life without feeling any human intimacy outside of like your mom you know what i mean like would you not also be quite hateful and bitter and you know the government doesn't care we're not the government is not doing anything for these people men don't care and women for sure don't care so yeah something needs to be done no nothing needs to be done um i think a lot of those guys need to figure it out right a lot of those guys really need to figure it out a lot of those guys need more confidence a lot of those guys need to get into sales that's oh man you have to have you have to Build confidence, like that's one of those things. If you are someone that deals with a crippling sense of insufficiency, your ability to discount any good thoughts you have in your mind is going to be so strong. If you try and lead with positivity first, I need to think it, wish it, believe it, and I will achieve it. Your set point of negativity is going to just crush that into the ground. I'm speaking from personal experience, right? As the guy that was chronically unconfident and still has the imposter syndrome that does creep in, you have to start with action. It needs to be, okay, what would have had to have happened in a week's time for me to look back on that week and find pride in myself? Stop breaking promises to yourself. When you say, I'm going to wake up tomorrow at 7 a.m. and when the option comes to hit the snooze button, don't do it. There's one win that you've got for the day. That's action, right? You want to leave your job and become a writer. Okay, can you commit to writing one blog post on Substack per week for the next three weeks? That would make you feel like less of a loser if you did that. Action has to come first. When you're in sales, whew, you gotta push. And you got to be that guy. You got to be a go-getter. Women love go-getters, right? I think those men need sales or they need to be in sports. I, I was like, I was in sports my whole life to get me through school. Really, I joined sports in high school just so I can pass. Because then I had my mother and my father down my neck say, oh, I need to do this work and this. No, I didn't have that. And I know I didn't have that. My mother was sick. My mother was mentally ill. So I said, I got to get myself through school. If he, I know if people watch me, yeah, I know he, I know he told me because I know his family, I know him. 
I went through that and I said, I got to get myself through because everybody's going through it and I got to get through. So I need school. I need something, a reason why I have to pass. So I, cause I have these, uh, I have to pass so I can play sports. So yeah, but that's how I did it. No, I ain't saying he got to be now disgusting with it, but look like, look like if, if, if he even looked at a treadmill, he would pass the fuck out. Imagine so effing, effing a dick that has worms. Okay, nobody said anything about effing. And you know what's wild? They're talking about some, some of the guys that's like the guy just said, right? Some of these passport bros leaving are undesirable to women. And they did something about it. And they bashing them? Think about it. She was, it's deeper than a lot of y'all think. Hello. Okay, but anyway, they just, they don't even, please. So what I'm saying is this. Now, those, you marry. You marry them. And then when he dies, you take the money and you still are young and spry and you got a couple million. So then you can do whatever you want. What did you expect? The most, a lot of men that are like in those predicaments, they're not even as hyper. They can't even. That's not even a thing. They know they can't even do that. They're not even like you get the one that's damn near dead and one foot in the grave and you marry him for maybe two, three years. And then he when he dropped dead because he got high cholesterol. See, this is the game they're pulling. This is the game they're pulling on men in the West. Right. And of course, you could turn around and say, oh, they're trying to say women are doing that overseas, too. Right. And some women do do that, but not usually. And for the most part, the, the, the woman overseas get with a guy that's older because they want to take care of a man. That's the difference. And you take that you take that couple of million, but you have to be married in order to have rights to the funds. Like at some point, you got to like nobody's going to sit down and, and discuss the will with a, a girlfriend. That's just not going to happen. But yeah, when you talk not about girlfriend, yeah. you don't get the will. Baby mothers, you don't get it. It goes to the family or the children. You know, so, there's no, there's no, there's no. My, my sugar daddy was always trying to hunch. She belongs to the street. They're talking about, they're pretty much high paid three or fours talking about getting over on men, older men, because they're old, right? First of all, they're talking about passport boards, but they're talking about getting over on older men, getting with them because he can't get it up. So you can still do whatever you want. And, but, and then also, they wonder why guys are becoming passport bros. But this is why guys become passport bros. Look, and this is what a lot of guys need to do. I broke up with my toxic ex and went overseas. And he went overseas and got him a, a, a Colombian woman, right? I can tell because I've seen bad in Kia. And you can go anywhere. Go get your Filipino woman. Go get your Mexican woman. That's one thing I want to talk about. I want to go out to Mexico. I want to go to my wife and I want to do some searching. I'm going to be very careful. I don't, I don't know where I'm going to. I'm going to find out, find some guys in Mexico, right? That can lead me in the right direction. And I want to speak with some women that are looking for guys. I want to pitch something together, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to head that way soon. I know my wife can travel with me to Mexico. So yeah, I'm going to work on setting up. That's going to be one of my next trips is going over there because it's very close to the U S right? So all a guy has to do is take a, a car, Drive down through, through, uh, through, drive down through Florida, right? Or go the other way, go right from LA, from Texas, right down to Mexico and go find him something. No excuses. I repeat, no excuses. Why not make it easy for yourself? When you can turn around and say, hey, look, lady, I jumped on a, I jumped in my car, not even on a plane and drove and found my wife in a whole nother country. What they going, man, they can't, they can't stop us, man. And that's why these women be flipping out. She's one making videos about guys because they can't stop it. As I showed the video yesterday, they can't compete. And that's exactly why guys are leaving because they realize. This is the way. Passport bro, cash for no. It's definitely more to life. Then they let this woman back home. Brothers, what we do in life echoes in eternity. 